I never realized how douchey I look with this hat on. But what a series of events yesterday and today. It's been absolutely crazy. I would do this over some Call of Duty, but I'm not really in the mood to play right now, so this is what we got. I was gonna name this video the worst day of my life before I woke up this morning. Yesterday I had a really, really strong feeling that Jeb would do a P.O. Box opening because it was like 7.30 and he still hasn't uploaded. Usually when Jeb does P.O. Box openings, he does it really late, like around 7.30, 8 o'clock. Five minutes after I tweeted that out, he actually uploaded a P.O. Box opening. You guys know I'm trying to be as patient as I can, but when you have a dildo out there that is worth as much as it is, it's kind of hard to be patient. So he finally uploaded a P.O. Box opening after almost a month, and at this point, I was freaking the fuck out. Then I saw the title and the thumbnail, I'm like, fuck, that has nothing to do with Moby. Then I started watching the video, and you can see all the boxes in the background, I'm like, I don't see my fucking box there. But my hopes were so high, like, they were above the frame of this video, they were so high, that I'm like, he's probably just gonna pull it out of his ass right at the end of the video, he's not gonna show it there, it's gonna be like a grand finale, it's just gonna be at the end of the video, so I watched through the whole video, and I got to say after I finished watching that video without seeing Moby in there I was crushed I was never more angry depressed sad it just, I was feeling everything but like happiness and excitement I was in denial I, I don't even know why it's probably because my hopes were so high and I'm like for sure it's gonna be in the next PO box opening because it's been there for more than a week now and when I saw it wasn't there I was just crushed and I was I was livid for about an hour I even ranted on Twitter I was gonna delete all the tweets but then I'm like why the fuck not you guys saw them anyway it's it's there that's how I was feeling at that point in time so I just apologize I'm gonna apologize again for fucking freaking the fuck out. I actually did like an apology type stream, more of a stream to, you know, get my mind off of it and make myself feel better because that stream was was absolutely amazing. That was the most active stream, active chat I've ever had. It was fucking crazy and it wasn't even planned. I just wanted to thank you guys for the crazy amount of support in yesterday's stream. Yesterday's stream was by far the best stream I've ever had in my life. That stream was better than the Until Dawn stream when I had over 100 viewers on Twitch. So I was pissed off for about an hour, then I started streaming. I'm like, okay, I'm gonna get my mind off this and everything. And after about maybe, I don't know, half an hour of me streaming, I kind of started to get into a good mood and then I was back to my normal self. Then after the stream was done, I streamed for about, I don't know, maybe three hours. After the stream was done, my buddy texted me saying that someone on Jeb's video commented saying, should I get a GoFundMe for this big dildo or whatever? At the time I saw it, I had over 200 thumbs up and I started shaking. I was nervous as fuck. Cause you know me, I'm a nervous person. I just get nervous for no reason at all. Like whenever I call someone, for example, last night I actually called USPS immediately after I finished watching Jez P.O. Box opening to see if they can tell me if he picked it up or not. I'm talking to the fucking robot. Like I know there isn't a person coming on the phone anytime soon and my heart is just going crazy. I'm just fucked up. So I got nervous when I saw this comment, even though I know like a year and a half ago or whenever Jev mentioned it the first time, people were trying to do GoFundMes for this thing since the first time he ever mentioned it. And they never went through. I think they kept getting taken down or whatever. And the guy actually posted the link to the GoFundMe today on that comment as a reply and it was gone. So I don't think you can do that because it's a dildo or a sex toy or something. I don't know why. Maybe people reported it or whatever because it's an adult toy. I don't have no idea. So my buddy told me that this guy commented that. So I went and I replied. I'm like, don't bother doing it because I already set one. It got there last Wednesday. I was just going to leave it at that. But then some people would be like, oh, you're bullshitting just to get likes or attention or whatever. So I put in brackets. I'm like, I vlogged it. If you don't believe me, I didn't say Hey, there's a video on my channel go check it out I said I vlogged it if you don't believe me so I, I wasn't intending on advertising anything and within like the first two minutes of me replying to that comment I already got one guy calling me a god by the time I woke up today I had a bunch of people calling me a legend a savage all these things these great things I actually thought I was gonna get fucking called a nerd and a loser for buying that and sending it to them but these people were praising me to all you people praising me I love you and before I did that the video was at like 300 something views now it's over 500 and had 54 likes I think I took a screenshot yes I took a a screenshot. I had 380 views and 54 thumbs up with zero thumbs down. Now it's over 500 views with like 77 thumbs up the last time I saw it. This was a few hours ago. So just from a reply to a simple comment got that much traffic towards that video and everyone calling me a legend. So that's ridiculous. That's crazy. And then when I woke up this morning, technically afternoon, I woke up to something that I would never... I don't even remember what I was saying. My mother just rudely interrupted me. Anyways, long story short, I woke up to a few of Jeff's friends actually finding me and contacting me. AKG and SRK, he talks about them in his videos all the time. They're close friends of Jeff, and there was this girl, I don't really remember her name, I apologize. I don't know how they found me, I don't know who found me, but AKJ followed me on Twitch and SRK actually watched the vlog and commented on it. And the girl's the one who actually messaged me 
telling me that Jeb was busy this week. He never went to the post office and she told him that it is waiting there in his P.O. box. So that is what I assumed even before I went fucking crazy on Twitter that he didn't pick it up yet because I know Jeb. If he picked that up, if he saw that big, huge, heavy box, he would have instantly tweeted about it. So I kind of just wanted to explain the whole story to you guys. It ended up being like one of the worst hours of my life last night to being one of the best mornings ever to wake up to in my life. It was a crazy series of events. I hope I didn't leave anything out. But uh, yeah, there will be a stream tonight. It's going to be a little bit later than usual, maybe around 8, 9 p.m. Eastern time, which is my time. They told me they're leaving literally right now, so I'm going to have to stay back, edit this up, put it up, and, and prepare for the stream and then go. Moby will meet Jeb soon enough. He just has to pick it up. So I hope you guys enjoyed the video, and I will see you all tomorrow with another one and in today's stream.